the shepherd and the fairy. Once upon a time in a deep dark cave, there lived a beautiful fairy. She could do all kinds of magic, but only if she did not leave the cave for more than three days at a time, the cave was in a faraway place in the mountains. Because of this, the fairy was very lonely. The fairy liked to go for walks in the hills and feel the fresh air. She also liked to smell the wild flowers and to watch the birds fly. One day, when the fairy was out walking, she saw a young shepherd. He looks poor, but he plays his wooden flute so well and he seems so merry. The fairy watched the shepherd for a long time. She fell in love with him. Hello, shepherd. You look so happy and I enjoyed your music very much. The shepherd stopped playing his flute and smiled at the fairy. Yes, miss, I am very happy. You are totally content. You don't need anything at all? Not a thing. You are sure of this? A shepherd thought, thought for a moment. Well, I have my sheep and I have my music. I suppose I have everything I need except a wife. But I am much too poor to think of marriage. The fairy looked away and twisted her hair with her finger. What I do for a wife, I cannot offer you very much for I'm a poor fairy who lives in a case. But if you are content with what you have, perhaps we can be happy together. Shepherd was so startled that he almost dropped his flute. Will you do for a wife why I'd be the happiest person alive? Here, put this ring on your finger and we will get married. The shepherd put on the fairy's radiant golden ring. Suddenly, his shabby clothes turned into a beautiful suit fit for a prince. His sheep had turned into a carriage and six winged horses. The <coughs> wind stopped blowing, and even the birds stopped flying to watch. It was as though the shepherd and the fairy were the only people on earth. Now we are ready. Climb into the carriage. We must return to my home. We have a long way to travel. I must say goodbye to my mother first. She would be very worried if she didn't know how, where I had gone. All right. I will leave the carriage with you, and I will go on ahead. But you must come to me before three days are up. The horses will take you safely to my cave. The fairy flew into the air and vanished. The shepherd stood there for a moment, amazed by the clothing in the carriage. Finally, the shepherd climbed into the carriage and drove toward the village where his mother lived. The shepherd had not traveled far before he met the <coughs> queen of the country. She was out for a ride with her assistants. She took one look at, her hands, at the handsome young man in the beautiful carriage and fell in love with him. Hello, friends. I've been looking everywhere for someone at the ship continent. Since my husband died, my country has been in ruin. Will you marry me and be my king? The queen was very bold. She expected the shepherd to say yes and be grateful. After all, she was the queen. The shepherd did not take very long to make up his mind. He decided that he would rather be the king of his own country than live with the fairy in the far away cave. He bowed very low. Yes, ma yes, ma'am, I would be honored to be your king. The moment he said those words, the fine clothes vanished and the carriage and horses turned back to sheep. The assistants laughed at his long clothes. Who is this? I can totally believe my eyes. How cold I have asked such a poor man to be my husband. The assistants chased the shepherd and his animals away. The assistants chased the shepherd until he was lost and tired. He could not find his sheep anywhere. He sat down on the ground and looked at his old clothes. What have I done? I am such a fool. First I had been content with nothing, but once I got some riches, I became greedy. From that day on, the shepherd wandered the land playing his flute. He never found his sheep, and he never found the beautiful fairy again. But most of all, he never found the happiness that he had known before that day. The end. Yeah.